first half was pretty good. And then second half, everything just went downhill. I mean, it just was too up and down for us. Our seniors stabilized us. Freshmen were being freshmen tonight, and uh, that's part of being a freshman, and you have to understand uh, what's going on. But I'm sure they're going to work even harder and be ready for the LSU game. Uh, Coach, you were asked this question after the, the Lamar 1 game. Uh, you said you didn't didn't have any jitters uh, after that game. It, with this being the first regular season game, did you have any jitters tonight? No, I did not. I didn't have any jitters. Um, I don't know. It just hadn't hit me yet. I'm not saying that it won't ever happen, but it hadn't it, didn't, it hadn't happened yet. So I was really ready to get going. Penny, uh, down here, was that the, is that the game ball? Yeah, yeah. Did all the players first win? It? Yeah. Did, when you say that the first win, I mean I know you say you weren't nervous, but to have the first one under your belt now, does it is it reassuring at all? Does it feel any different? No, it, it feels good because you know Tennessee Tech they really made us work. You know they really did, and um, trying to just think through things as, as the game went on and. Um, when you're struggling to score and, you know, the things that you worked on and shoot around and, and practice with the game plan, we're not doing. So you just kind of just thinking. But I'm definitely uh, thankful for the win. Uh, Coach, a couple of times during the game when you saw mistakes made, uh, I check your reaction and expect you to, like, have your hands flying up and you were just like, it's okay, it's cool. Is that because it's still early and you know that you're still working out the kinks? Well, you know, all coaches know their players and you know how things are going to go in certain situations and you want them to stay calm, so I stay calm. And you play, we're playing a lot of freshmen. So when you're playing freshmen, you got to keep them calm and not get them overexcited. So I'm, I'm going to always stay even keel and just try to keep thinking as I'm, as I'm out there coaching and not really get too animated. Penny, I don't know how, how many balls do you – where will that go? Where are you going to put that? And where does that rank in terms of the balls that you have collected and signed in your collection? Uh, um, it's definitely going to go in my office. It's going to go uh, probably on the mantle in, uh, in my office. Uh, I'll definitely be proud of this. This will definitely go up there because I never really envisioned myself being a college coach in the past. So now this is something that I can, uh, I can be proud of to, uh, to have my first win as a college coach. So this ball will definitely go in my office. Coach, uh, what was your message uh, to Tyler Harris? He was 0 for 6 tonight from both the field and downtown. What was your message to him and the other freshmen that struggled tonight? Uh, after the game, you know, I just told them to keep working. You got to keep grinding. You know, this is how this game goes. This is D1 basketball now. Things like this are going to happen to freshmen. And, uh, you know, he's worked his butt off his entire life. So I'm sure he'll be in the gym shooting a lot of shots and he'll be ready for the LSU game. But I just told him to just keep working. You know, trust what you've done your entire life. And I was telling him that during the game, like, you're going to make one. Just keep shooting. Don't stop shooting. Um, you guys got out-rebounded 42 to 35 mm -hmm. tonight. What, what can you do better to, to make sure you uh, get to do better on the boards? Well, I mean, we were small tonight. You know, they had that big boy in there, and he was really massive. And I went small to try to offset their size with our speed, and I asked the guys to rebound. And we just didn't do a good job, and we were small of rebounding. But they're just playing your bigs. Just playing Mike. Um, Isaiah and Vic instead of playing Keevan at the five. So I wanted to see some things tonight. We were afforded to do so even though we got out-rebounded, but we'll be okay moving forward. Hey, Coach, uh, offensively you had a uh, not a significant game, but defensively you had 20 turnovers, um, 13 steals. Talk about how well your defense is improving and also the play of your point guard, Lomax. Well, we turned them over 26 times, so that's what we have to do to win right now. I mean, anytime you shoot that poorly from the three-point line and then you give up that many free throws um, and then your turnovers are more than your assists, you know, it's going to be tough. But, um, you know, we just kept pushing. You know, we just tried to believe in our principles. And, you know, Alex, he struggled tonight. You know, he wasn't his normal stuff. I mean, it's just it's, – to me, that's just being a freshman. Things like that are going to happen with the freshmen, and uh, I'm sure they'll bounce back. What you all – what did y'all do to disrupt their motion offense? Well, we understood what they were going to do. Our game plan was almost perfect like it's been all the other games. And uh, we basically just forced their pick and roll down. That's not something that they want to happen. They want to be able to come off their pick and roll and have more options. But we really just narrowed their options by uh, forcing it downward instead of letting them come, uh, come off and go in middle. So they helped us out a lot defensively. Penny, there few minutes to go in the game. You're, you're not one to make a lot of mannerisms, but you were standing there and it was almost like you were praying. Not Was it was it a sense of frustration because it wasn't what you wanted to see towards the end of the first game that you were coaching? No, you want to uh, show some poise. And, you know, I just wanted our seniors to calm, calm us down. Uh, Alex went baseline 
and um, threw the ball out of bounds. And then Ray came back. The next play, we should have pulled it out, and uh, he shot a jumper. So, I mean, we'll, we'll talk about that in practice. And I know what they're thinking, you know, stay aggressive because I'm always telling them to stay aggressive. But we're going to have to get better with that, especially going on the road. You're going to have to get better with uh, calming, calming the team down and, and finishing the games better. Coach, over here. Tonight you only had 13 assists. How much do you think that played into your shooting struggles in the second half? Well, it, it played a big part of it. I mean, we were 6 for 24 from three. And uh, all of those were wide open. I don't think any of them were contestable, except for Tyler's, the one that got blocked. So we got our shooters' looks. They just didn't make them tonight. We're going to get those same looks and make them next time. Coach, you're not as horses tonight as you were last game. Oh. <laughs> um, like I asked the gentleman earlier, um, great game for Davenport. However, the competition level is going to get a little higher every, mm -hmm. every game. Who are you going to hold accountable going into the locker room, going to practice tomorrow? inside to, you know, to uh, compensate that, the uh, down low presence? Um, well, first of all, I, I made sure I took some uh, some cough drops, some throat lozenges throughout the entire game to make sure I wasn't going to be hoarse after the game because I have to scream over the crowd. But uh, Keevan, he did a phenomenal job. We're going to keep leaning on he and uh, Jeremiah, the, our senior leadership. Uh, they understand what's going on. They, uh, they know they have to pick the freshmen up. They know that uh, we're going to have to depend on those guys, and they have to do their load first. They have to do their jobs, and let's, let's do what they did tonight and uh, just kind of pick the freshmen up because right now all the freshmen are down, but, hey, it's a part of it. Now it's just time to work and grind. we got to get to practice and, you know, continue to go over our principles offensively and what we want, you know, defensively and uh, just move on from there. We're, we're going to have a tough game on the road next week, and we know that, and we'll be prepared. Coach, uh, just going back to the rebounding, Having Mike Parks in there, how big of an impact will that be? And I guess how, how big of an impact will he be on the boards for you? Well, what, what Mike has shown before he got injured is uh, he's definitely on, uh, rebounding the ball. So we feel like we'll have a better opportunity with him in the game. Like I said, the first half went kind of fast, and I didn't get a chance to get him in there. And then in the second half, it got a little ugly. I didn't want to throw him out there late. So uh, that's just on me. I told him that, you know, get a week under, under his belt to practice and then to be ready for LSU. Penny, where do you feel like you guys need to be in terms of free throws attempted? You, you only had 11 tonight, and they had 29. Yeah, I think we need to be anywhere from 20 to 30 free throws with the guards that we have. We have to get downhill, get in the paint, and draw fouls. Right now we're shooting a lot of threes, and uh, you know we want to get in the paint and make plays for each other. We're missing opportunities to get to the foul line, and we just have to do better with that. I mean, we're getting where we want to go. Instead of shooting layups, uh, and getting fouled, we're kicking them out for threes. And when we have bad nights, we just have to make up for them. Speaking of free throws, uh, number 22, Alexander from the other team, have you ever seen anybody shooting underhanded free throws? Like uh, I saw game? footage of Rick Barry doing that a long time ago. Really. I mean, I, I haven't seen that from the, from the kids in today's game. Uh, it's definitely uh, got a lot going on mentally with the free throws to shoot an underhand. Uh, it's weird to see that. It really is. It's weird to see that, but whatever works for him, you know. Would you encourage that if somebody's free throw percentage dropped, would you suggest that they start I, I, I think it's different strokes for different people, but I would never suggest someone shoot underhand. I wouldn't, but, you know, whatever got him to that point, I guess it's worked for him. Hey, Coach, back here. Um, when, you, uh, when you stepped out there on the court and – the, the team got that run going and you felt the, the energy from the crowd. Did it remind you a little bit about when you were uh, running around at the pyramid days and did you channel any of your inner Garmer Curry or, or <laughs> yeah. to You know what? It did feel like old times. You know, that crowd was electric. Uh, Jeremiah hit a couple threes back to back. We got some stops and we had the crowd behind us ready to knock them out and we just let it linger. We let, it, we let them hang around. We started fouling too much and uh, got them on the foul line and that just kind of calmed them down. But yeah, that energy that we got uh, when we went on that run, was was it reminded me of old times when I was playing. Anything else? Yes, that was the team's first time seeing the intro video. We saved it for tonight, and it, it definitely had an impact on the team and the crowd. Last one here. Um, Penny, um, I don't know if you talk about Davenport yet, but he had a career now with um, 30 points and 10 rebounds, you know, double-double. Like, just thoughts on him, like, being a senior? Yeah, um, you know, we've been really hard on Keevan because Keevan is kind of laid back, you know, in practice. And we just push, push, push because we need his leadership. 
he knows that he's going to get out on the floor and handle his business, but we need it more vocally uh, in practice to kind of be more of a leader. But we know he's going to go out there and maybe not 30 and 10, but we know he's a double-double machine, and <clears throat> we're going to need that from him all year. Thank you. Thank you.